Hey everyone, Christopher Beast, and the Season 14 NDA was removed today, and that means I can now cover what will be coming to the game with Season 14, this being the new content. Seeing as the preview build does not contain the battle pass, nor the cassettes, I can only really cover what it does have, that being the new weapons, the new consumable, and the new shootout map. So really, with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> Starting off, let's cover the new weapon that will be coming with Season 14. This weapon is the M4, a new purple rifle that has been long requested by the community, and despite it not fitting the dates of the game's timeline, the popular opinion is to add this gun, and that has overrided the issue from the dev perspective. This gun is like a full auto M16, spouting stats of 4 shots to kill due to its 5.56 caliber, 760 rate of fire, and a 905 effective range. From my using of it, it felt like an AUR that had higher fire rate and basically was built more for close range. It fell off in accuracy in longer ranges and I wouldn't really personally suggest it in those ranges. However, honestly, I didn't get a lot of combat experience with it, so I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is. But here's a quick demonstration of the weapon so you can try and make your own opinions. From here, we can cover the new consumable of this season, the bear trap. This trap is akin to a booby trap, activating when one steps on it. When you step on it, it does a chunk of damage. This seems to be around 20% of HP. But it also does a decrease in max stamina, also by 20%. This maxes out at 40%, but it means that being damaged by this trap is going to reduce the mobility of its victims. This mobility reduction cannot be healed. Healing will remove the circle that shows you are affected by the trap, but it will not actually fix the reduced stamina problem caused by the trap, at least from what I've seen in my testing. Finally, we have a new shootout map to cover. This map is called Myron. It features two central focal points, a gas station and a large warehouse of sorts, and the rest of the map is a large swampland that is dominated by tanks and other signs of battle, allowing players to dodge between tanks or jump in mortar holes for cover. This new map is very open, featuring large open sight lines allowing sniping to be easily done by players, which causes it to seem like it will play very differently than really any other shootout map in the game at the moment. I also wanted to see how big this map was, so to do it, I used a very rudimentary like measuring system. I just walked across the map, and I know how fast the player moves, that's 4 meters per second, and measuring the time, I did a bunch of math, and I found it was 196 meters wide. This finds it to be a pretty decently big map in terms of area, and you will certainly feel that as you run around it. Here is some footage of the new map. Aside from this, this new update will also have a few features we can't really see in the preview build. Of course, there will be the new battle pass, new seasonal challenges, both of which aren't in the preview build at all, New weapon skins will work in Shootout in the EWIM, letting you use your cosmetics to flex even more in these modes, and really giving players who play those modes something of a reason to grind for weapon skins. AFK players can now be vote kicked in EWIM. Something to keep an eye out for, I'm not sure how it actually works, but hopefully it helps deal with the AFK problem and isn't used for you know ill intent. A new in-game news system, a taste of which you can see here, and a new revamped pack system. Finally, map-specific loadouts for shootout are now a thing, meaning that you're going to get different weapons and consumables for Kirsten, Sawburk, and Myron, which hopefully means that loadouts will now be more built based off specific maps and how they play. But we're going to have to see how that plays out. That's everything in the preview build. This is a pretty eventful season. I mean, getting a new shootout map is pretty cool, and the M4 has been long-awaited. I hope you guys are excited for Season 14. I know that I'll actually be playing a decent bit this next season, so I am personally looking forward to it. But until it releases next week, this is all I've got for you guys. See y'all next time.